if you guys have built a table before. Oh, you have? Yeah. All right, awesome. So this is my story about building a table and starting a community. Uh, it all started back at iNetra. Uh, uh, this is a startup from the MIT Media Labs. We were building mobile eye diagnostic devices. The device some, looked something like this. It was a small wearable device that uh, you would hook on your smartphone, and with a couple of clicks of a button, it would pop out your prescription. And uh, I was primarily working on the hardware of this device. And uh, to do most of the prototyping, I used to go to this space called Artisan's Asylum. Artisan's Asylum is this huge community maker space. It's the size of two football fields. And within that, to travel within it, we used to ride scooties. It was that big. Anyways, so within this, they had like a bunch of workshops. They had an entire woodworking workshop. They had an entire metalworking workshop, all of that. And, and all the tools were open to everyone. Anyone, uh, it was pretty much like having your own tools kept inside one space that you could go and use at any time you want without anyone restricting you. Uh, so uh, one of my favorite projects at this place is, was the Stompy Robot. The founder of Artisan's Asylum thought that it would be cool to build a robot that he could sit on and ride. So as crazy as it sounds, at a maker space, it wasn't as crazy. And a bunch of people started building this. Three months later, uh, over three maker spaces joined in. And they also started making robots, these giant robots. And at the end of this year, they planned to have fights with them with paintball guns. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so I started building my table over there. This was the first table that I ever built. I never built a table before. I had no idea how to use the tools, nothing at all. So I just went down and picked up some wood and reached at the asylum uh, and decided I'm going to build a table. Within a week, I had this with the help of the community. All the people over there helped me out, gave me design inputs, how to make my table better, stronger, how to make it more stable, how to uh, design it better, how to maybe put my, hang my tools a little better on it, or, uh, and how to use all the equipment at the asylum. So by the end of the week, not only did I know how to use half the equipment over there, but I knew how to build a table by myself. That was pretty awesome. So I went back to India, uh, sorry, went back to uh, uh, Delhi a month later, and I started building my own table in my basement. And that's the table that I built. It took me one month to make this. And uh, it, yeah, as you can see, there's nothing special about it. But uh, <laughs> uh, and I had to go at least 10 times to the hardware store to pick up equipment. And most of that equipment never really got used again. All of it is still lying in the basement. Uh, and there wasn't anyone giving me cool feedback on how to maybe help make my design better, or every time I got stuck, that how to uh, make it more stable and things like that. So I kind of, uh, though I learned a lot, but it wasn't as much fun. Then I went back to Boston and started working again at Inetra. And they offered me this awesome opportunity to come back to India, travel around rural India, conduct eye tests, and make hardware improvements to the device. So I immediately jumped on the next flight, and I came back to India. And I traveled all over India to uh, Kolkata, various parts of small villages in India, and started conducting eye tests, and started improving the device. While all of this was going on, one fine day, the ceiling at Ayanathra's office fell down. So I broke everything. It literally broke the table. It broke all our equipment, everything in the back room. That's where I used to do most of my prototyping for the device. So I called up the landlord and I was like, hey man, can you uh, fix this? Can you fix this place and can you buy us new tables? The landlord was like, I'll fix the place, but I'm not going to buy you new tables. So once again, I was like, hey, I'm going to build my own table. <laughs> so this time, uh, instead of building it by myself, I went on to Facebook and I went on to Meetup and I started looking for people who'd like to join me building this table. So that Sunday, about eight people showed up and we started building tables. None of them knew how to build tables before, like most of you guys, except you. <laughs> and uh, all these guys started building these tables with me. And uh, within a day, we had three tables ready, compared to one month to build one. Anyways, so we had three tables ready, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, everyone learned something or the other from each other. We had pizza at the end. You know, We celebrated that we built three tables in one day. It was awesome. And then after that, all these guys started coming down every Sunday to Ayanathra's office to make something or the other. So they built stuff like simple LED lamps or a water bottle bazooka and things like that. Just fun projects. So it was super cool. Uh, oh. And then after that, we decided that, hey, why don't we get our own space? Why don't we get our own space where we can park all our equipment and uh, put in all these tools and all these, all these projects? So we went in search for a garage. 
and uh, happened to be one of my friends owned a garage in Bandra. Not only she, did she help us out with the garage, but she also joined us. And uh, this was the garage. Super excited by how it looked. We started immediately cleaning it up and painting the walls, doing graffitis all over it. And, uh, uh, and then we started building tables, once again. So in about a week, over 20 people came in and out. And every day, the community was expanding. More and more people started showing up to build these tables. And in a week's time, we had all the tables ready. So then, and in about a month, the space looked something like that. And all these tools were all shared. All the people who were coming out of there, they were just parking their tools down there. We had a 3D printer over here. We had a CNC machine over there, everything. And all of that given by the community and people. And people pitching in from, with money, people pitching in with equipment, their time. They were building stuff like drones, build groups building drones. And then there was another, there were a lot of training sessions, people training each other just for fun because they wanted to. If somebody knew a skill, they would just go ahead and train somebody else. It was, I was seeing that beautiful community elements come in. And uh, a lot of designers started coming in and building tables and stools, all sorts of stuff. And then we celebrated a lot. We had a lot of barbecues at the space. We played a lot of beer pong. Uh, we used to have a lot of these fun little sessions where people would just come together and you know, just hang out over there. And that's what got our little community really close together. And during this, I had decided to quit my job. So I quit Ayanetra a little while back during this thing. So no more awesome US salary in India. So then came the big question of sustainability. We thought about everything. We thought about how to make this sustainable. We thought about a membership model. We thought about making it into a private company. We thought about having training sessions all the time, hiring people, everything, up till the extent of selling coffee. That's us making coffee using a drill machine. <laughs> all right. About a month later, and this is our present, we uh, moved to ISDI. We partnered out with ISDI. And uh, that's our space now. And uh, as, once again, because of ISDI and uh, because of space, we didn't have to worry about rent or electricity once again. And we could focus on the best part, which was the people and the community. So we started building more tables. <laughs> <laughs> and this time, people were building more tables. So a lot of fun. And uh, again, a lot of training sessions happened at this place. A lot of knowledge share, people training each other, people talking to each other, and at the same time, building awesome things. So we believe that unless and until you actually make something, you feel unqualified to do that. And the only way to get that unqualified feeling out of yourself is to just pick up the tools and make something, or break something. And uh, once you start, you always have a beautiful community to help you out. Thank you.